Welcome to the Solon's customer video series. In this video, we will conduct a two-point conductivity calibration for the LTC level logger edge. To maintain accurate conductivity readings, you should calibrate your LTC level logger at the beginning of each new monitoring project, or at a minimum, about twice a year. To calibrate your LTC, you will need the latest version of level logger software downloaded to your PC, and an optical reader to connect the LTC to your computer. Other items that you will need include calibration solutions, clear beakers or test tubes, deionized water, a few cotton swabs, a bucket for waste solutions and distilled water, and clean paper towels or cloths. The LTC level logger edge has a calibration range from 50 to 80,000 microsiemens per centimeter and can be calibrated to four standard points. For best accuracy, select two calibration points, one above and one below the expected conductivity range for the water that you will be measuring. If you are measuring in water less than 1413 microsiemens per centimeter, or above 80,000 microsiemens per centimeter, use just that one calibration solution. We are going to do a two-point calibration using 1413 and 5000 microsiemen per centimeter solutions. Calibration solutions should be fresh and have a temperature error of plus or minus 2% or better. During calibration, the solution should be kept as close as possible to the stated temperature on the bottle, which is usually 25 degrees Celsius. If this is not possible, please ensure that the solutions have a temperature between 10 degrees and 30 degrees Celsius. If they are outside of this range, the LTC may not pass calibration. The solution temperature should be kept stable throughout the calibration. Before you begin, make sure your LTC's conductivity cell is clean. The pins on the LTC level logger sensor are platinum coated, so they should not be roughly cleaned or touched with any metal. They can be cleaned with a soft bristle brush, Q-tip, or cloth. For stubborn hard water deposits or biofouling, the LTC can be soaked in diluted acid solution, generally less than 10% acid. However, soaking time should be monitored and kept to a minimum. Always rinse your level logger with deionized water after cleaning and then with the calibration solution to be used before you start calibration. Now submerge the LTC in the conductivity solution in a clear, clean container. The calibration always starts with the lowest solution. Open the level logger software and connect the submerged LTC with your optical reader. Lightly tap and swirl the LTC to help remove any bubbles that may have formed on the sensor. Bubbles on the sensor during calibration can cause inaccuracies or a failed calibration. Use real-time view to ensure stable temperature readings. It may take two to three minutes for the LTC to thermally equilibrate and stabilize. Once thermally stabilized, we can start the calibration. Click on the conductivity calibration tab and retrieve the settings from the connected LTC by clicking the icon on the top left of the software. If your LTC is still logging, click the stop icon. It must be stopped to perform the calibration. The software reminds you of the points we just discussed, including a clean sensor and fresh calibration solution. Click next to get to step number one. Enter the temperature coefficient of the solution that you are using. It can be found on the label on the solution's original bottle. Our solution has a coefficient of two. Click next to move to step number two. Select all the solutions that will be used for calibration. We are going to do a two-point calibration, so we'll select 1413 and 5000. Click Next to get to step number three. Be sure you have cleaned, rinsed, and immersed the probe as previously described, and click Next to calibrate. While the logger calibrates, two values will be shown on the screen. The calibration solution temperature is a real-time value what the logger is reading at that moment in time. The electrical conductivity of solution is a calculated value. Based on the real-time temperature of the solution, the temperature coefficient that was entered in step number one, and the calibration solution that was selected in step number two. The LTC level logger will compare the current real-time temperature and real-time readings against the calculated conductivity reading shown to ensure accurate calibration. This logger has passed its first calibration point. 
When doing a two-point calibration, after you click OK, you are brought back to the beginning of step number three to repeat the procedure to calibrate using the second solution. Rinse the LTC with distilled water, rinse with the second solution, and then immerse the LTC in the second solution. As before, you'll want to lightly tap the LTC to remove any bubbles and then wait until the sensor stabilizes. Click Next to calibrate. As before, while the logger calibrates, two values will be shown on the screen. The real-time calibration solution temperature and the calculated electrical conductivity of solution. Again, the LTC level logger will compare the current real-time temperature and real-time readings against the calculated conductivity reading shown to ensure accurate calibration. This logger has passed its second calibration point and is now ready to deploy in the field. Thank you for watching this video and please feel free to contact us with any questions or comments.